Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about how to create a, like a pretty cool water effect in Adobe XD. You can use it like for icons or whatever, you know, for loading, for different kind of things. So let's get it started. So I'm opening a new file uh, and I'm going to size it thousand by a thousand. You can see all my tests here. Um, cool. So now the first thing that I want to do is to create a line. This line is going to be a water line basically. So I'm going to make two points, which is this will be the high point of the water and this will be the low point of the water. And I'm going to grab this one and just move it down a little bit. And I'm going to grab this one and move it up a little bit, not too much. Okay, and I'm double clicking this point to make it round. And now I'm double clicking this point to make it round as well. And you, you see we got a certain wave going on and now I'm gonna press um, right here just I'm moving like more down than I need in order to close the shape and like create the uh, shape of the water and now I'm gonna remove the border and the fill I'm gonna make it you know uh, some sort of like blue okay cool this is nice now let's see if uh, both pieces actually fits perfectly so I'm duplicating this piece and I can see it fits pretty nicely. One thing I do uh, notice is sometimes we have like this line between them. You, you see like the white line and I would like to erase it. So I'm double clicking the shape and I'll just move this one right over here. And I'll go to this bottom and I'm going to move this one right over here. Maybe more or a little more than I need okay cool now so we got these two shapes and now I'm gonna group them control G and I'm gonna call them water nice and the next thing I want to do is actually uh, grab a circle and this is gonna be our container like for the water and I'm gonna move it you see I'm looking at this point I want this center of the circle to be around like this the beginning of the wave and about the size of the circle I want it to snap right here, like to uh, the link between the, the two pieces. So I'm waiting for it to snap, and now I got the shape that I wanted. And I'm grabbing everything, right clicking, and masking with shape. Cool. So now I got the water, the basic water shape. I'm going to call it water front. And I'm going to duplicate this and call this one water back. Nice. And now I'm going to hide the water front and I'm taking the water back. I'm grabbing the water layer and I'm just going to change the color just a little bit. Cool. So we're good now. And uh, one more thing about the water uh, back. I want to move it to the other side. Because like the back moves to one side while the front moves to the other side. This is what uh, caused like the effect to be more realistic. I'm grabbing like the water back, this layer, and I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, cool. Now, when I unhide, you see this shape. Cool. Now I can duplicate the layer, like the artboard. And one thing I wanna do is so the water front is on this side, so right here it should be on the other side, and I'm waiting for it to snap. Cool. And the water back is here on this side and let's see it here the water uh, the water back okay cool so I'm gonna move it right over here and I think we got the shape nailed pretty nicely cool so now let's just animate it so I'm grabbing this artboard and I don't want it to uh, act, be activated on tap. I want it to be activated like on time because I want it to loop forever and I don't want any delays. I'm going to go down a little bit and I don't want any easing because I want it again to loop forever and about timing I'll do something like two and a half seconds and let's make sure it's on auto anim animate and not transition. So auto animate. And right here, we're going to grab this artboard and link it right here. 
but the timing I want it to be zero on everything because I want it like once it finishes this out but I want it to jump right here like with zero uh, you know that it's impossible to see and uh, about duration I'm gonna make it zero seconds you gotta delete like the point two it auto completes it and now let's play it and see how it goes cool so now that we got the water part working let's create like the the fancy container for the water and I'm gonna grab a circle I'm gonna put it right back and center it and about the border I'm making it a little bigger and about the uh, color of it we can do something like that maybe and about the fill let's do like a radial gradient maybe a subtle one let's grab this color and let's uh, I don't know and here let's grab this color and I guess this one is cool okay I'm okay with that and let's put it right here and one more thing I want to do is duplicate this part like I'm talking about the circle at the back I want, and I want to uh, duplicate it again because I want to create I'll show you I want to create this shape like the shiny uh, reflection part now that I got two shapes like that, I can use the boolean operation and press subtract and it subtracts it. And now if I'm removing the border and grabbing like a white solid color, white solid color, so you can see it becomes some sort of reflection. Let's just remove a little bit of the opacity, something like that. And I think I'm pretty happy with the result, control C control V right over here and we're done guys so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please leave a feedback or subscribe I would be happy to create more of these these are super fun for me all right guys see you later